Volongo, Volongo, Volongo. Volongo Portuguese pronunciation, Valago Lisson is a Portuguese municipality located in the district of Porto and 10 km from Porto in the northern region of Portugal. The municipality area consists of 75.12 km2 and 93,858 inhabitants 2011 and is subdivided into four parishes. The municipality is limited to the north by the municipality of Santo Terso, to the northeast by Pacos de Ferreira, to the east by Perds, to the southwest by Gondomer, and to the west by Maya. It consists of the cities of Ulfina, Ermesind, the Longo City, and the towns of Campo and Sobrado. History The municipality of Valongo was created in 1836 as a part of the administrative reform of the country, which occurred during in the reign of De Maria Roman II. However, human occupation of this region predates the Roman conquest of the Iberian Peninsula. Ancient History this region was occupied by the Romans, especially for gold mining in the Serra de Santa Justa. One of the traces of Roman occupation is in the municipality name, which originated in the Latin words Valles Longus. There are still traces that would allow the detection of two main Roman connecting roads that would cross the municipality, the Porto Guimarães Road and the Alfina Valongo Aguirre de Sousa slash Penafiel Road. This region would then be occupied by barbarian peoples, Subai and Visigoths, and later by Arabs and Moors. According to Father Lopes dos Reis, a native of Valongo, the Moors entered Hespanha enthusiastic about the Holy War with the Alfinge in one hand and Alcorao in the other, taking over with their powerful army all the places they could pass through. In Valongo, perhaps there was no blood at all, because the inhabitants, few and without defense, could only fearlessly try. Middle Ages From the general inquiries of 1258, the current municipality was divided at the time between the parish of Aguirre de Sousa, which included S. Martinho de Campo and Sobrado, and the parish of Maya, which included S. Vicente da Quemedla, Valongo, and S. Lorenco de Asmez. From the economic and social point of view at this time, the ownership of land was the basis of the economy and the main element of survival and power. In the area of the municipality, land belonged to the king and the clergy, particularly the regular clergy. The appearance of new settlements, the progressive extension of the term of existing settlements, the multiplication of suffragan chapels, and the division of property is evidence of the notorious demographic growth of this region over the centuries. This increase in population was accompanied by the progressive development of other sectors of the economy. Industry and commerce, initially based on incipient forms, acquire a strong expression in the economy. The traditional bakery industry is an excellent example of this. Its origins date back to the low Middle Ages, but the development of wheat bread is such a development which allowed Volongo bakers to feed the entire surrounding region and with the product of their work. This, in turn, allows them to make a decisive contribution. For the construction of the new church, the Igreja Matriz de Valongo, whose construction dates to the end of the 18th century. 19th century At the dawn of the 19th century, Valongo experiences the hardship of the presence of Napoleon's troops during the French invasions. A division settled in Valongo, turning the church into a stable and plundering values from individuals and the church. These lands, therefore, served as a stage for battles and military movements that took place between the two straying brothers, D. Pedro on the side of the liberals, D. Miel on the part of the Miguelists slash absolutists. During this period, two important battles take place, the Battle of Pontferrer and the Battle of the Ant. In Ermesund, the former convent of Na, Mr. Du Bom Despacho now, the Church of St. Rita, became a military hospital for Miguelists' forces. By decree published on November 29, 1836, Dean Maria Roman II creates the municipality of Valongo with the parishes of Sobrado, Campo, and Gandra, which belonged to the municipality of Balter, and Alfina, Ermesund, and Valongo, which belonged to the municipality of Maya. On May 18, 1852, 
There was a lunch at Trevijam, offered by the municipality chamber. This lunch took place on the last visit of D. Maria Roman II to the north of Portugal in the form of thanks for the creation of the municipality of Valongo in 1836. Years later, there would be another royal visit this time by D. Louis and D. Maria Pia. For a long time, there was still talk with great admiration of the gigantic and beautiful arches that were made in many places of passage of the procession, and that gave the celebrations an admirable splendor. Between the end of the 18th century and the beginning of the 20th century, large farming houses were built in all villages whose rural nature. The road network was developed within the limits of the municipality, which began being served by transport such as the electric car and the train. The main artery of Valongo and Ermesson saw the opening of commercial establishments. During this time, the local population increased with the arrival of people from the interior of Portugal. By the middle of the 19th century, the region became an attractive site for the mining of slate, but also of antimony, tungsten, and coal. At the borders of Ermesind, large factories were set up such as Resinira, Ceramica Impressa Industrial de Ermesind, and Textil de Sa, among others. The municipality became the site for the expansion of industries such as metallurgy, textile manufacturing, civil construction, public works, food, wood, and furniture. Compared to the other parishes, Campo and Sobrado retain a greater level of rurality. The small holding regimes sustain their living with traditional productions, the vine, the corn, and the fodder, which is linked to the production of milk. New crops such as kiwiculture and also were introduced to the region. Demographics OBS A number of inhabitants' residents OBS from 1900 until 1950, data refers to the facto population who were present in the region. Hence, some differences can be expected relative to the resident population. Administration Administratively, the municipality is divided into four civil parishes freguesias Alfina, Campo e Sobrado, Armisand, Volongo, Volongo, Volongo. Culture. Religious patrimony. The municipality has a vast religious patrimony, which includes the mother churches, chapels, shrines, calvaries, and cruises, often associated with religious festivities and local folk stories. Bugiada e Muriscan is a festivity where populars stage a fight between Bugios Christians and Murisqueros non believers by the possession of John the Baptist alongside other folk and everyday lives activities. Slate. There's a strong presence of slate mining industry and different transformative industries associated with slate, whose industrialization began in the 19th century and matured in the 20th century. Slate was formed 350 million years ago by a metamorphosis of shale, clay, and volcanic ash that results to a fine-grained foliated rock. Common application and uses of slate can be found in writing slates, blackboards, as a roofing material, for billiard table tops, and in the decoration industry. The Slate Museum, Museu da Lausée, is located in the town of Campo. Portuguese traditional toys. Alfina is home to an industry of handmade Portuguese traditional toys, made using different kinds of available, and often recycled, materials including paper, wood, plate, celluloid, and plastic. Toys often depict objects used in daily tasks. Regafa and biscuits. Regafa is a form of bread popular in northern Portugal. The manufacture of bread in Valongo has been documented since the Middle Ages. In addition to being an indispensable daily food, a means of paying forums, it is likely that the biscuit was part of the sailors' rations during the period of the discoveries, thus paving the way for the manufacture of the biscuit that we know today. With the introduction of American big corn, the bread came to prominence, and with the French invasions, the mullet started to be produced. Currently, regafe is considered a delicacy in the world of bread, with the regafe of Valongo being famous in northern Portugal.